This video is sponsored by Soccer Star Shop, the best place to get yourself the latest football boots and kits for ridiculously cheap prices. The link to their website is down in the description and use the code S2G to get yourself a 5% off on your purchase. Inyaki Williams does so well. It's still Inyaki Williams. Inyaki Williams with a shot and how has he scored from that position? Honestly don't care, we have finally scored. Back into Koke. Now Antoine Griezmann, great touch from Griezmann and Griezmann with the shot. Antoine Griezmann with the goal. We are finally scoring some goals guys. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome to the 7th episode of the Atletico Madrid career mode series. In today's episode, we've got a massive game in the Champions League against Bayern Munich at home at, of course, the Estadio Vicente Calderon. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like on this video. 100 likes would be amazing and also subscribe for more FIFA 17 content. Now, apart from Bayern Munich, we do have some really interesting games in today's episode. We've got Osasuna in La Liga. We've also got Real Valladolid in the cup. Of course, the first leg did end up in a 2-0 victory for us. So not too concerned about that game. Espanyol at home could be a tricky one. Hopefully, we will get all three points from our league fixtures. That would be really nice indeed. Also, we are nearing towards the January transfer window. And if you guys have any suggestions, drop them down in the comment section below. We've got a transfer budget of 58.68 million. So I will be needing your suggestions for this one. We have a couple of injuries in our squad right now. Yannick Carrasco is going to be out for about a month with a sprained ankle. And Torres will be out for about a week with a sprained ankle as well. And because of all these injuries, I've decided to recall Lucio. Vieto from his loan spell at Sevilla because he's of course a fantastic player in this game has got really good potential like it I think he can be really good for us besides that Gamiero isn't really performing well so I think Luciano Vieto could be the main man for us in this season as well as upcoming seasons but guys before moving on to other stuff it's now time to find out who is our informed player from the previous episode and you guys voted for Antoine Griezmann as your informed player from the previous episode he scored a goal he got himself an assist if I'm not wrong it was against Granada and 84% of you guys voted for Griezmann this is his second informed card of the season hopefully he will get many more now guys it's time for a press conference so guys it is now time for a press conference and let's get into it do you have any plans to fix the lack of goals like maybe buy a taller striker to play next to Antoine Griezmann Yes guys, that indeed is my plan to bring in a new striker to replace Kevin Gamiero and to partner of course alongside Antoine Griezmann. And that striker right now, as of now I'm leaning towards, is of course Diego Costa. I think he will fit perfectly with Griezmann up front. Besides that, he's of course a former Atleti player, so it'll be nice to have him around at the club. But of course, it's your choice as well. If you guys have any other suggestions, drop them down in the comment section below. Moving on to our next question, which is from Mohsen Ibrahim. When Gaitan gets back from injury, will you play him as a starter or will you stick with Carrasco as your first choice? Normally, I would stick with Carrasco because I feel he is the better player. But in this instance, with Carrasco out injured, it's probably going to be Gaitan who will be taking up that first choice left mid spot. But that, guys, is pretty much it for this press conference. If you guys have any more press conference questions for the next episode, drop them down in the comment section below. For now, guys, this is the end of the press conference. And of course, it's now time to get into our first game of this episode. First game of this episode against Bayern Munich, and it's absolutely crucial. A defeat against Bayern would mean that we probably would be knocked out of the Champions League so we can't afford to lose but the thing is I'm forced to use my second team for this one because of fitness reasons Luciano Vieto does get his start so hopefully this team is good enough to get a good result against Bayern Munich Lewandowski holding up the ball finds Ribéry that's a great pass there from him but Oblak comes up with a fantastic save and because of the fact that we are fielding pretty much our second team this game isn't gonna be easy at all already Bayern dominating this one Still Gamiero gets away from one. Plays the ball through into Luciano Vieto. Vieto gets away from the defender. Vieto. Vieto with the shot. And Neuer, what's he done there? Luciano Vieto. He's just been recalled now to Atletico Madrid from his loan spell at Sevilla. And he's already scored for us against Bayern Munich of all teams. What a return that is for Luciano Vieto to Atletico Madrid. That finish actually wasn't the best. But Neuer, man. One of the best keepers in the world, if not the best. What's he doing? I have no idea. Oh, Gabi plays it through into Gamiero and Gamiero takes it into his stride and Boateng takes him down. That could well be a sending off for Jerome Boateng. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Let's see what the ref pulls out. It's a red card. 
and Bayern Munich are now down to 10 men. I think it was a deserved red card. Into Gamiero, who takes it back, finding Vieto again. Cheeky pass into Gabi. Gabi with the shot and Gabi with the goal. This is going so well for us, man. 2 0 against Bayern Munich. Yes, they are a man down, but what a goal as well. That pass from Vieto, man. That cheeky pass, you know, the back heel into Gabi was just perfect. What a return for Vieto, man. A goal and an assist. Things can't get any better for us. Lewandowski into Iron Robin. Bayern Munich trying to create something. Robin with the shot there. And Oblak forced to make another fantastic save. Bayern Munich, even with a man down, are creating chances, which is worrying. Ball falls to Vidal outside the box, who plays it into Lam. Lam with the shot. And Bayern Munich pull back one. It is 2 1 now, but only six minutes left. Can Bayern Munich get the equalizer? Hopefully not. That's it guys, what a win for us against Bayern Munich and now we actually have a chance of finishing top of our Champions League group which is actually brilliant. The decision to play with a 4-4-2 formation instead of a 4-1-2-1-2 really worked well as we were able to hit Bayern Munich on the counter quite a few times but a brilliant result all in all against Bayern Munich, two goals to one of course. What a result against one of the best teams in the world, Bayern Munich, you know, a very nice victory indeed. And now we actually have a chance of finishing top of our Champions League group, which will result us getting an easier opponent in the round of 16. So hopefully that happens. We've got to beat PSV first and hope that Bruges get a draw or a win against Bayern Munich. Yes, that's unlikely, but we'll just hope for the best. Even if we finish second, I'm not too worried because we've got a solid team. If we can beat Bayern Munich, we can pretty much beat any team in this world. It's now time to to focus on La Liga we are top of the league last episode of course we had the Madrid derby it kind of went well I mean a nil nil draw against Real Madrid in which we did dominate it's not that bad of a result so hopefully we'll keep up this form and of course we are top of the league by a couple of points over Villarreal Barcelona still struggling but they are picking up the pace now but Real Madrid I mean they started out in the relegation zone and are now in the top four fighting for the title but Cambu from Villarreal is the top scorer of La Liga no surprises they are second in the league it's now time to face Osasuna and this is the lineup I've chosen. Vieto, even after that fantastic performance, won't be getting into the lineup because of fitness reasons. But of course, this is still a fantastic team. Gaitan, Saul, Koke, Angel, Correa, Griezmann, all the big names are playing. Osasuna away from home. Never know what to expect from them, but hopefully we can get all three points from this game as well. Now it's Koke. Koke to Angel Correa. Angel Correa with the shot. Defender with the block. It falls to Gaitan who takes the shot. But the Osasuna goalkeeper makes a very good save. Savage gets it back. Finding Griezmann. Now Angel Correa back into Antoine Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann with the first goal against Osasuna. And there is the hotline bling celebration. 1-0 to Atletico Madrid. Correa gets it back from the defender. Angel Correa in a good position. What's he done? He skies this one. Expected more from Angel Correa, but nevertheless, it's still 1-0 to Atleti. Nico Gaitan, cutting inside. Gaitan playing it through into Saul. Big chance for Saul. Leaves it for Iñaki Williams. What the hell, Iñaki Williams? He should be scoring from those positions. Saul literally gifted him that chance. And Iñaki Williams completely wasted it. Disappointed with him. Angel Correa waits for Iñaki Williams' run. Williams makes the perfect run. Cuts it back into Correa. Correa with the shot. How has the keeper saved that? Very good keeping there. In fact, Osasuna's keeper has been really good. We've had many chances in this game, but we've only managed to score one goal. Koke plays it in behind into Griezmann. Griezmann is onside. Griezmann's going to cut this one into Angel Correa. And that is a fantastic finish from Angel Correa. An assist for Griezmann. 2-0 to Atletico Madrid. There you go, guys. Another victory for us. And this time against Osasuna. 2-0 win. A really nice performance indeed. Now the 4-4-2 formation is really working for us. Which is, of course, fantastic. In the previous two episodes, it wasn't really working for us. We had, we had to improvise. But now it's working, which is great. Of course, goals coming from both Griezmann and Correa are strike force. And of course, both of them set up each other as well, which is nice to see. You know, they are developing a bit of a good chemistry, which is, of course, great for the team. Three points again in this La Liga fixture against Osasuna. The Angel, Correa and Griezmann duo is just working wonders for us. You know, they're scoring goals left, right and centre. 
which is just what we want. We are going to sim the second leg in the Copa de España, the Copa del Rey. The first leg ended in a 2-0 home win for us, and now the second leg ends in a 3-1 victory for us. Vieto with a brace. Vieto's on fire since he's returned to Atletico Madrid. That is just awesome, guys. We might actually not even need to sign a new striker because of the way Vieto is playing. I'm going to leave this up to you guys. You guys can vote by clicking that eye on the top right of the screen. Do we need to sign a new striker now, now that Vieto is coming and is performing in top form it's up to you guys to decide you can vote by clicking that eye on the top right of the screen as you would have seen Cherchi is happy with the game time he's getting so that is good i'm probably still gonna sell him in january or maybe in the summer transfer window because he's just not atletico quality and also miguel moya is disappointed with his game time we might need to sell him now so we might have to bring in a new goalkeeper you know backup goalkeeper if you guys have any suggestions drop them down of course in the comments section below yannick carrasco is back from his injury we won't be using him in today's episode probably will give him a game in the next one i don't want him to aggravate his injury but of course we will be facing real betis in the next round of the copa del rey i believe it's the round of 16 if i'm not wrong so hopefully we can get into the quarterfinals as well we are still top of the league but now real madrid have overtaken villarreal and are now second in the league so pretty interesting la liga is getting but besides that this is the lineup for our final game of this episode against espanol at home again a very strong Strong team indeed. Hopefully, guys, we can get the win with this team. Griezmann, Korea, all starting. So let's hope for the best. Caicedo puts in a cross. Not the best of crosses. It falls to Jurado. Cross put in again. Caicedo should have done better in that position. I honestly thought we were going to concede there. Luckily for us, we do actually clear it. Gets away from our defender with ease. Now it's Reyes. Puts in a great cross in Caicedo with the header. And Espanyol take the lead in the 73rd minute of this game. We've been awful in this game so far. Haven't created a single good chance. And Espanyol using the crosses and all to, you know, cause us problems. And have done so successfully. Now Caicedo makes it 1-0 for Espanyol. We've still got time to get back in this game. Let's go ahead and try and get a goal. Now Antoine Griezmann. Out wide into Gaitan. This could be our chance to equalise. Gaitan finds Saul. Saul now into Koke, Koke, Koke with the shot and Koke with the goal, he gets the equaliser against Espanyol in the 87th minute, do we have time to get the winner? Hopefully yes. Unfortunately we are only able to get a draw against Espanyol but after they've scored to get the equaliser later on in this game, to be honest I'm not that disappointed but 1-0 against Espanyol, let's actually now have a look at the league table. Kind of gutted that we couldn't get all three points from that game. But to be fair, after Espanyol scored, we didn't actually show really good character to get back in the game. But disappointed not to get a good result against Espanyol because they are 17th in the league. So we should be winning those games. But anyways, we are still top of the league. Three points ahead of Real Madrid. But now, Real Madrid have a game in hand. So they could be on level terms with us in terms of points. So we've got to be careful now. We can't afford to drop more points. Or else teams like Real Madrid will take advantage of that. Next episode, you guys will find out whether we do get into the round of 16 of the Champions League or not. A defeat against PSV would probably mean that we will be knocked out of the Champions League so hopefully that won't happen. Besides that we've got some more league games and more transfer stuff of course. If you guys have any transfer suggestions drop them down in the comment section below. Before we end this episode it is now time for you guys to vote for your player of the episode or your informed player from this episode. So the nominees are first of all we have got Luciano Vieto for his goal and assist against Bayern Munich. He also scored a couple of goals in that Real Valladolid game. We've got Griezmann as well who got a goal and an assist against Osasuna and Angel Correa for a goal and an assist against Osasuna as well. So you guys can vote by clicking that eye on the top right of the screen. In my opinion it should be Correa but it's up to you guys to decide. And that is it guys for this episode. If you guys have any press conference questions drop them down in the comment section below. Drop a like if you guys have enjoyed this video follow me on twitter to stay updated with the channel and i will see you guys very soon with another career mode episode